Hi and welcome to our core shoulders strength conditioning towards handstand. Let's warm up. Imagine you're squeezing the towel. Breathe. Both shoulders working. and up one two three four five six seven eight nine ten switch one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten relax Let's see and twist. Push your knee out, shoulder down. So 90 degrees, 90 degrees, one arm down, and we will reach the floor. You can make this elbow soft to reach the floor lower. And up one, two, three, four, and five. Switch. One, two, three, four, and five. Three. From here, we will try to separate our upper back and lower back. We will fix lower back first and start working only with our upper back, our thoracic part. We go down, shoulder blades together and up, away as much as possible, not by using your lower back, but only your shoulder blades, away together, away together. You can check yourself in the mirror. And from here, we stop working on our upper back and only using our lower back. Two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then and then. So now we feel pretty warm and we will start our first exercise. It will be side plank. I would prefer if you do it on straight arm, but if you feel, oh, maybe this round or next round, you will feel your wrist is tired, you can go to your elbow. Also, if you feel unbalanced a little bit and you can't perform this exercise on straight arm, again, on elbow, it will be a little bit easier to balance. So we will go to side plank, one leg up, and we are doing circles. One, two, three, four, five, opposite way. One, two, three, four, and five. So this is not only helping us to work on our core, but also on our balance. We are, work we are working on our balance, that means we are engaging whole our body, all small muscles, stabilizers in our body. So do your best to challenge yourself, not to go to easier version where it's easier to balance, yeah? And one, two, three, four, five, opposite direction. One, two, three, four, and five. Nice. Uh, from here, we will still need our book or block or bottle and we will go swimmer, legs together on the floor, arms extended, we will pass the block, bring your shoulder blades together, open your chest, long neck, one, five times one way pass and five times another two, three, Four, five switch, one, two, three, four, and five. Look down. And third exercise is bear crawl walk. So put, uh, bring your knees a little bit up, but Still keep it always close to the floor. And we just walk. One, two, three, four, five, six. Back. Forward. This is already two, and we need to perform five. Three, five, four, sorry, and five. Lay down on your back. Squeeze your abs and connect your elbow to your knee, both legs. From here, right arm and right leg, open and extend, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great. We are going up, and the last exercise in the set will be handstand maximum hold, or 30 seconds. So, I will give you a few options. First, main option, 
we just go up as close as possible and we are staying here. So probably it will be here and it's fine or even more lower, it, it is fine. Any challenging level, level for you. Just make sure you're pushing the floor away, elbows locked, engage, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your abs, bring your ribs down and push. So if this is too challenging and you can't go to handstand, it's fine. We will do here shoulder taps. But of course, try to challenge yourself and go, and go to the wall. Let's start together. Whenever you feel you have to go out or you will fall, go out slowly. Ten seconds more. Five, four, three, two, one. Step, step, and down. And we will rest one minute. We will have. Three rounds in total. Don't forget to take care of your ears. You can release it by squeezing it fast or just do some circles and make some stretches for your knees. circles. Again, find your own challenging level. Even if you are on elbow and on your knee, here doing circles, and this is your challenging level. Great. Keep it until we will grow to next level and next level and next level and keep the progress slow but steady. Let's start. One, two, three, four, five, opposite direction. One, two, three, four, and five. Switch. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. Great. Swimmer, pass the block, pass the book, or pass, pass the bottle. One, two, three, oop, four, and five. Switch. One, two, three, four, and five. Great. Bear crawl. Five times. Let's go. One. Two. Four. Ooh. Five. My shoulders are burning. 
and lay down. Connect your elbows to your knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then up. Whew. And we go to our handstand maximum hold or just 30 seconds. What means maximum or 30 seconds? If you keep it 5 seconds, good. 10 seconds, great. If you can keep up for 30 seconds, amazing progress. Uh, just make sure you still have some power to get down to the floor without falling. Get ready. And we start. this side plank circles and one two three four five one two three four and five switch one two three four five one, two, three, four, and five. Swimmer. One, two, three, four, five. Switch. One. Two, three, four, and five. Great. Fair crawl walk. I don't know how about you, but for me this one is most burning on my shoulders. Make sure we are making small, 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 small steps.
And one more time. Back. Woo! Lay down on the floor. Connect. One. Two. No rush on this exercise. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And handstand hold. Just a quick reminder. Push. Try to touch your ears with your shoulders here and let's go up on our mat and we will relax a little bit make circles with your chest opposite direction and stretch Shoulder down, up, and switch. Keep your uh, hug your knee and extend your spine. Thank you. Have a great day.